Jamal, please see who is at the door. Assalamu alaikum, Chachu. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Fine, Alhamdulillah. Have a seat. Jamal, prepare lunch for Bhaijan and kids. No, dear, we just had the lunch. We just take tea. Okay, Jamal, go and make tea and bring juices for Ahmed and Ali. So, Bhaijan, what's the news? All the things are finalized now and we are moving to the USA. I thought I should come personally to break the news. Anyways, I've brought some gifts for you, for Bhabi, and for your little baby boy, Mustafa. Uh, thank you for the gifts, but uh, are you permanently moving with your whole family? Yes, of course. And Ali is very excited to go. He has even made a list of theme parks to visit. Ahmad, however, is not willing to leave Pakistan. No, I don't want to go. See, I don't know what's wrong with him. Actually, he listens to some Malvi saying that one must not leave an Islamic state and something like living among the non-Muslims is dangerous. Yes, Chachku. I am worried. The Western culture is anti-Islamic. There are nightclubs, alcoholism, and immorality widespread there. And I have heard that you cannot avoid being involved in Sooth because maintaining your credit score has become a necessity. And I have heard that being involved in Sooth is declaring war against Allah and His Messenger. You see, Zafar, I don't know from where did he hear all that rubbish. Bhaijan, this is actually true. Ahmed Beta, it is words in Surah Baqarah, verses 278 and 279. Billahi Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Allah, in Oh, you have believed. Fear Allah and give up what remains of interest if you should be believers. And if you do not, then be informed of a war against Allah and His Messenger. What? What's the truth? That you cannot move to the U.S. if you're a Muslim? Bhaijan, may I ask you a question if you don't mind? Alhamdulillah, you are quite settled here in Pakistan. You are among the top psychologists in the country. So why do you want to move to U.S.A.? What do you mean? It is a golden opportunity for me and my family. Higher prospects to grow, better standard of living, world's best education for my children. Who would not move to the USA if he gets a chance? You see, our country is in chaos and it is in no condition to develop. But all these benefits are only for this worldly life. Our real concern is to be successful in the hereafter, the life after the death. Pakistan, with all its shortcomings, is still better than USA when it comes to saving one seaman. It is because it is a Muslim majority country. It has a lot of opportunities to learn and practice Islamic values. Sorry Zafar, but I can never understand these radical Islamists thinking. The world is far too modern and fast-paced for these ignorant and strange point of views. Have you read the oath that you have to take for US citizenship? No, what's unusual in that oath? Ali, can you please check it out on the internet? Yes. See that, here it is on the website of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service. It says, I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have been a subject or citizen, that I will be support and defend the Constitution and laws of United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear arms on the behalf of United States when required so, by the law. This is just an oath of abiding laws. It doesn't say that you cannot be a Muslim. It just says that you must follow the rules. But Father, it says that we have to give up allegiance to any autonomy of whom we have been a subject. As Muslims, we are subject of the autonomy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means that we'll have to declare that we are no longer loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What? Bhaijan, this... Bhaijan, 
this oath is a promise of complete and unconditional obedience of the U.S. Constitution. Even if the laws of U.S. are against Allah's command, you will have to obey them. Whereas the Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Bukhari, لا طاعت لمخلوق في معصية الخالق There can be no obedience to anyone if it means disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim is one who has proclaimed unconditional obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. This oath is for you to substitute Allah's obedience with that of the U.S. Constitution. Brother, please, I just came here to say goodbye. We have to make preparations for the flight as well. I appreciate that you came, but as someone who really cares for you, I sincerely advise you to reconsider shifting to USA. It is a non-Muslim country. You may get worldly benefits there, but you are putting at risk yours and your families after life. Thank you, brother. It was a pleasure. Take care. Okay. So, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Keep in touch. Okay. Okay, go okay boys. Keep in touch. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Minimums.